God for each and every person, every artist, every gallery owner um, that has been a part of this journey for me. Um, they've caused me to totally evolve the way that I see art, um, African American art in particular, and um, have me more into books and research and collecting our books. I'm really excited that these four are here because that means the world to me. Um, the boys travel from down south. My boys travel from Canada and Calvin and, and, and Pancho are local, but it, it, they just thought enough um, of me and our relationship um, to be here and that means the world to me. So thank you, please, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Sheila and I have had a long history together. Uh, I was one of the first artists to ask her how many pieces she had. And she said she had about nine. And I told her, well, now you're a collector. She had me recognize that that's exactly what she was doing because people start out buying what they like. So the journey's been long. Um, me and my design team are the ones that helped her with putting the book together. So that's how committed I am to what she's trying to do. Um, I believe that we need to start documenting all of our efforts. Um, the Golden Age of African American Art between 1985 and 2005 was an important period because a lot of artists, uh, contemporary artists, really changed the whole perspective about the arts. The thing about that movement was it was not documented. It was pre-computer, pre-social networking. So to see her putting together a book that kind of combines both sides of the equation uh, is, is powerful and is needed at this time.